Car design process is changing and let me explain what I mean by that. When I was a student, when I was a car design student, I was watching YouTube videos. I was asking to professional designers, like what is the design process? Then I got some internships and I saw different processes. Then I became a professional designer in a couple of companies and I saw again different processes. And as a freelancer, I see also totally different one. So design process is not like a guidebook. You need to do A, B, C, and then like if you follow all these steps, you have a good design. It's not like that. It is super flexible, depends on the project because it can be depending on the budget. It can depend on the timeline. It can depend on the type of the project. If it's an interior design, exterior design, detail design, or in-house company design versus like um, design work for external company. It might be many different things happening or how many people working on this design, what are the expectations and so on. But still, in general, when I look back, I remember it was more like, you know, sketching, some design proposals, going to Photoshop, doing a 3D, and 3D was Autodesk Elias only, like it was high surface quality, A-class surfaces, it takes months, but you got this best quality models type of approach. And then there was clay modeling phase as well. Sometimes even before 3D, from sketches you jump into clay modeling. Sometimes after 3D modeling, you go to bigger scales and like first do the CNC milling around the clay, and then by hand do, you do the changes then you put these changes into 3d or into again photoshop then you go back to clay nobody even talk or i don't even see much clay modeling anymore i mean compared to the past it still exists it is still something i still like it i agree that it has this human touch and it's always nice to see cars or vehicles or any object in real life rather than just photos or digital i agree with that but also the technique itself is getting old because it is again it is slow it is super costly compared to other options for example 3d printing when i was a student it was something new like maybe it was not something new for the medicine or other areas but for car design or design in general the type of 3d modeling was getting popular slowly and it was started to be used in industry at least and it's not that old but it's also not that new but also it's not like it is at this stage you have to do 3D printing. Things are getting more and more flexible in my opinion. It used to be again like sketching and then Photoshop and then 3D. Now it's not like that anymore. You do a rough doodle or like a very rough sketch and you can jump into 3D directly. You can skip all the 2D digital painting part. Or there is AI now. And actually I'm gonna talk about it soon because it's very important part of this video and it's some Good news, very nice news for me about AI future, let's say. I'm going to talk about it soon. But today you can jump into, take your sketch, put it into AI, visualize it, render it, then go to 3D or even generate 3D from this AI. I'm talking about Viscom, for example, that's what I'm experienced with. And then you can take this rough 3D, put it into Blender and quickly model over, develop the model further and you already have like a very nice 3D proposal. If you wanted to follow this traditional method of sketching first and then deciding the even final this final design on sketch and then try to put it on 3d and try to keep as close as to sketch i'm not saying it's wrong it's important to imagine the 3d while you are sketching as well but if you already have it in your mind or you don't even need to have total picture in your mind because design is a process it's a creative process and you can also put it into again viscom and generate some different alternatives like let it help you with also creativity and with this flow and later the selected design you can develop it further manually on photoshop that's also what i do i don't just take ai result and done that's perfect still work on it on photoshop develop it further put it on 3d again it is changing fast and i'm not able to say <laughs> I, I cannot tell you like do this again like a this b c d like it's not a guidebook to perfect design process. It is really flexible. It really depends on the needs of the project and the limits, restrictions of the project as well. And I wanted to make this video to tell you that don't stick to what was in the past. Like if you have this knowledge experience, you can be also professional designer or design student, doesn't matter. Don't just be like close-minded. I think it would be the opposite of open-minded, right? So be open-minded and follow what's happening. At least experiment with it. You might be skeptical about AI, for example. 
or even about Blender because of course it's not what we used to hear what we used to know or even what not what we were taught in the school right or just even last year or two years ago many people were against AI and now I see them using AI experimenting themselves because it's not one thing like it's very actually wrong maybe to say just AI and done because different tools have different purposes and designers realized whoever I talk professional like working in a company everybody's interested in what is coming companies are developing their own AI tools as well so if you are still like oh I'm against it or something I mean this video is not for you anyway but if you are watching by any chance please like try to be more open-minded because this just puts you back you know the world is getting faster and better and more creative and higher quality and your life can get easier it can be more fun you can enjoy the design process even more trust me it sounds like this new tools taking away the fun fact or taking away this pleasure of the design or creativity or whatever you think it takes away I don't think so I think it boosts it even further I don't want to spend honestly six hours five hours or a day to make a realistic Photoshop rendering by using these pads and the brush like every time when I just want to visualize a sketch I need to spend at least like an hour or if you are fast like you can do it in half an hour kind of like a rough thing but on the other hand you can just do it in a minute you know and then just see if you like it or not and you can do it again generate further I'm talking about again AI and VSCOM but also for 3D there are still people who are not using Blender I totally understand if you don't have time if you are already working in a company you got used to Alias or the other softwares and you are keep on going but I think it's worth to give it a try to use Blender because I remember when I started first myself it blew my mind because I was an alias person I was doing alias model all my projects and it was taking time and you know we already talked about it and when I did Blender I was like wow you can see real-time materials real-time lighting stuff so you don't need to export your model and you can model while seeing the real-time reflections and it's getting even better and better like now they release the newer newest version of Blender and I couldn't even test it yet I'm also guilty of this but I'm gonna test it and if there is some new features that is useful for car design I will definitely update my blender for beginners and blender for advanced car design courses if you don't know what I'm talking about I have my own online courses that you can find at my web website to learn blender from zero or if you are not beginner but you are also not super confident to do complex cars like different shapes and forms you can learn from my blender advanced car design course so what I want to tell you in this video also is like this good news that I mentioned you know Viscom sponsored many videos in my channel and also this video is sponsored by Viscom so thank you for that but now we brought our partnership into the next level which means I'm a brand ambassador of Viscom it's not like a super self-explanatory term honestly because it's a bit flexible but basically I am in very close contact with Viscom co-founder Jordan and the whole team about the upcoming features of Viscom AI and it is mind-blowing I already shared a couple of short videos in this channel or reels on Instagram about it like from 2d to 3d changed a lot it improved a lot still it's not perfect it's not like you click on 3d generation and you get the perfect car model but compared to the first version the new one is definitely way better and can you imagine the next next one like after two updates probably it will be really good models I can imagine and there are new features and that's where my role is now also I'm testing this new features and giving them feedback as a professional car designer so I use it like on my projects or on my personal projects to see how it fits to my workflow and what would I change or what would I need more for example about the style of the renders they're also changing the new version of exterior style or the new version of Viscom general they are amazing like another thing actually it's it was question a lot asked to me like both from the workshops I did on the universities and online was like how to create my own like AI model and stuff well you don't need to because in Viscom also there is something called palettes is coming you can train your own style you can train your not only style visually by the way it can be also 
style of the design. Like if you feed it with uh, certain design elements, certain products, the palette in Viscom, the results will also follow this type of design elements and so on. So it is also super exciting. I already tried some of them and I will train more to see how it will go. And this gives you endless possibilities, basically. You don't need to limit yourself with uh, already great render styles of Viscom, but you can also train your own models. And another very exciting thing is you can even change the influence of this style. Like, you know, you can normally change the drawing influence. You can say, follow my sketch 100% or follow it like less percent or whatever. But now you can do the same for the style. You can say, don't take 100% Viscom general style, make it 50%. So it f finds like a balance between your sketch and this style depends on this uh, sliders. And it also gives a lot more possibilities. I already tested some and I got really cool results. I, l I love it basically. Or another one is the reference image. Now it works also better. Like I just saw on Viscom's Instagram, this results. And isn't it amazing? Like this is the reference image and you get this results. I think it is pretty cool. And actually it is not even a beta feature. Like you can already try it on your account. The other features I mentioned are the beta version, but soon they will be released as well. So my new role with Viscom, being in very close contact, testing the new features, which is amazing for me and giving my feedback. And this kind of makes me, I feel like I'm part of this tool. I mean, I am honestly, and I'm very happy, very honored to be part of Viscom's journey. Since the beginning, by the way, I remember how it started. Like it was only like basic slider to like generate a sketch, car design sketch. Like you can say longer, make it more aggressive. And so like, it was just sliders. Then it became like a real time you were sketching and it was rendering for you. It went through like, now when I look back, honestly, the beginning was very weak tool compared to what we have today. But on that time, it was the top technology. So it is developing super fast. And I'm so glad that I have this relationship with Viscom, this partnership, because I am part of this journey because I am like part of this company, which is shaping the design process, right? Like, as I said, design process is changing fast and Viscom is definitely one of the biggest players. And it is just amazing to see what's coming also. And don't worry, we will not like lose jobs because of, I don't know, Viscom will take over the car design industry. No, it's not like that. You already know it. If you watched my other videos about AI, you already know that I believe AI is an amazing support tool for designers, not an enemy or not something to be scared of. And I want to mention that when I started my YouTube channel, I think it's been over four years now, and I, I wasn't expecting something like that. I didn't know it's even possible or I think Viscom was very fresh on that time and my goal was to share like car design anything I know about car design to share with you basically that's it yeah if I put it in one sentence it's not like making car design something or I don't even know how to say because I don't want to put it into a form like car design sketching or car design blender or car design new technologies or car design theory or car design I just want to share everything I know and everything I'm still learning to share it with you. That's the whole goal of my channel. And it's amazing to have a support from Viscom in this channel, to have this partnership, to both support this channel, keep on going, as well as you supporting by liking this video or subscribing to channel or buying my online courses. These all are supports to keep it going. And it is just amazing. I didn't know that it will be like that. Basically, it's a very important part of my life now. And I want to be more active, even more active on YouTube. There are new plans, new things I want to do. I want to do also with Wiscom and also about Blender and so on. But we will talk about them later. So basically this video is, I think, a bit long, but I just wanted to share this news about the new partnership with Wiscom and how it is affecting the car design process. And it's really impressive when I think when I was a student, it was very much like a guidebook. You do this and this and this, and that's the recipe for car design. But now it really depends. Still, of course, there's a rough gu guideline. It's not like everything is totally changed, but everything got faster, better, more efficient, and more flexible. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm excited for the future of car design. I'm always excited about car design, future, past, today. So it is amazing to see also you are sharing the same passion. 
All right, let's go. Let's sketch some cars or let's do something about them. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.